Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. So if you are receiving this error message, when you try to uninstall any application from apps and feature on Windows 10. So whenever you try to uninstall, when you click on uninstall, you receive this error message and you are unable to uninstall any application from apps and feature on Windows 10. So in order to fix this problem, the first step is to use appwiz.cpl command. So you can open a run box. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on run to open the run box or you can just type in run in Windows search box and then click on run app to open the run box. And over here you have to go ahead and type in app that is app then wiz wiz dot cpl. So it's appwiz.cpl. Click on OK. And now from here, you can go ahead and select the application which you want to uninstall. So just go ahead and select your application and then click on uninstall to uninstall the application which you want to. Now, still you are receiving the error message, still it's not uninstalling. Then in that case, you can use Revo uninstaller to uninstall anything. So in Google search, you can simply type in Revo uninstaller and then click on Revo uninstaller free and download the free version and then click on download scroll down and run the exe file click on run click on yes to allow agree to the terms click on next 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 install Click on finish and once the uninstall is done, uh, once the installation is done, select the application which you want to uninstall. So for example, I am selecting Discord, select the application and then click on uninstall. And then click on continue. It may take a couple of uh, seconds and then click on scan. And once the scan is done, click on select all and then click on delete. Click on yes. And then click on select all, then click on delete. Click on yes and after that click on finish and then restart your computer and that particular application will be uninstalled from your computer. So this is how you can go ahead and get rid of this error. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.